Okay, part seven is method calls with polymorphism. And polymorphism was where we had one way to interact with objects of multiple types. So that was when the variable type was a parent or grandparent type of the actual object. We'll look at an example of this. And we've got a, a repeat of one of the previous learning goals, which is when we call a method on an object, we look in the objects class to find the code for that method. And remember from part six, the type of the object must be the same class or a subclass of the type of the variable. And if not, the type of the variable would imply that the object would have methods that it might not have. But here really I want to reinforce the idea that when we call a method on an object, we look in that object's class to find the code for that method, even when we've got sort of complicated things going on with polymorphism. Okay, let's look at an example. So I have example seven on the right. And I've got the cat class and the tiger class on the left. And I want you to notice that I have in example seven, cat C equals or gets a new tiger. Okay, so here I have a parent class cat referencing an object, uh, a child object, which is of type tiger. And I want you to pause here to figure out what Java files will get checked when we execute the main method. And you should pause here, but I'll keep going. Okay, so I've got the picture of what we have with um, cat C. So here I've got my main method with my stack frame that keeps track of my local variables. I have the variable named C of type cat, and it references a new tiger object. Now I've added the cat code and the tiger code for us. And let's trace through it to see which methods get called, and, and in particular, which classes get checked. So C dot say hello. Okay, remember C references a tiger. So we're gonna start by looking in the tiger class for the say hello method, and we find it, it prints roar. Okay, C dot say hello is over. Now we say C dot sleep. Again, C is referencing a tiger. Even though the variable C is of type cat, we still use the fact that it, C is referencing a tiger to mean we look in the tiger class first. So we look in the tiger class and we don't find a sleep method. And whenever we don't find a method in a class, we look in the parent class. So now I'm gonna look in the cat class and I do find a sleep method. I hope this example had nothing that surprised you. When we're figuring out what method to actually call, we use the type of the object and we look in its class to find that code. And if we don't find it, we look in the parent. So even though we have polymorphism here where we have a cat referencing something of a child type, when we call a method on an object, we look in the objects class to find the code for the method.